What's up, my cannonballs? We're back for a short, quick second. And on this one, it's going to be about Nicole, of course. Man, Nicole and the course, of course, you got to get some, you got to be a better steward and not read the comments. How can you let a stranger tear you down and you're going through some depression right now? You reading negative comments and it's making you even more sad. Are you serious? Like, do you know people are, people are still going to talk about you whether you are hearing it or, or seeing it? Come on, come on, baby girl. Come on, baby girl. What's wrong with you? You need to get out. I think you need to take a break from the internet. I mean, I don't know what it is. I don't know what it is. Hell, I could be the one over here crying. My ass been on YouTube for years. Since 2014. I ain't got no goddamn check. I should be the one that's crying. Hell, I just got to a thousand two or three years ago. I should be the one that motherfucking crying down. Hell, but I'm not. And you know why? It always, this all this YouTube stuff can be taken away, you know, quick, fast, and in a hurry. But you need to really take a break from social media. You really do. Because you can't handle it, boo. A lot of you guys out there cannot handle the feedback that you're getting from your viewers. And and I would say a few of us, your subscribers. You know, it's just, I, I mean, people ain't got to be your, even a subscriber to tell you to, to, really to comment underneath your video. But I tell you about yourself. But. <gasps> I see it in so many sectors. A lot of you people ain't that strong for this internet stuff. You know, no, don't, don't get me wrong. If you have a moment on here and you may just need to take a break, you ain't even got to let us know about it. Okay? It's cool. Take a break. But don't continue to get on here and then keep on here and then want to then want to hear and get to the comment section and read all the bad things that people are saying about you. Because that's only going to fuck up your moods. Let me tell you like this. I read a lot of my bad comments. Then, you know, honestly, I was uh, I made a few videos and that was it. You know, it didn't affect me because everything that people have been saying on YouTube, they said it in my, my actual real life. You, you think that's gonna you think that's gonna stop me from being me? Hell no. Hell no. It's not. Do you guys know how many times that I have been called gay or or, or really questioned about my sexuality? Do you know how many times people have analyzed me? I wish I could say the other word. Is it ostracized? Maybe that too. But do you know the amount of times all the way from elementary up to high school dealing with that all those years? 365 days out of, out, of, out of all those years? Oh my goodness. I, I should be the one over here breaking down if you guys only knew what I thought, what the hell I was going through. And I'm not, and I'm not saying it's greater or lesser than anybody else's um, stuff, but man, y'all gotta stop acting like you're weak and you better get strong. Cause we got a lot. We got look. We gonna have to have. We gonna have to have some big. We got to have some big boy britches on out here. Cause the world is gonna be a little bit. It's gonna. It's gonna get harder. We gonna. We gonna have. We gonna have some days where we're not gonna be able to to really feel like getting out the bed. But, we, but we're gonna have to get out the bed and make it happen for ourselves. You know, it's gonna be some hard days. It's gonna be some lonely days. It's gonna be some cold days and cold nights. But the Lord would be, but the Lord would, be, but the Lord would be right there by your side, you know. I wrote a song about that, about that, you know. But you guys got to be more stronger. I didn't know YouTube would get people in their head to the point where they are really taking this stuff so seriously to the point where they are breaking down. I'm not saying there's nothing wrong with it, but it ain't some, it ain't something in mind that the world needs to be seeing, you know. I'll be a damn fool coming over here, coming over here confessing to you guys about something that's going on, going on in my life and y'all seeing me doing the ugly cry every couple of days. Y'all eventually will stop watching that and stop entertaining that. You know why? Because it's not for the public to see. It's not. And I'm not saying this young lady was doing that, but you you saying that you're not feeling well and your mood swings. Look, I'm bipolar. I'm, 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 I'm bipolar type too. Um, when you have moments like that, you need to go get some help if you can't deal with it yourself or, you know, take some medication, you know, get, go, go, go to the doctor and get prescribed I mean, get, and get a prescription or something, you know, and, and understand how much you need to take. So you don't hope, so you don't have to, uh, so you don't have OD, but, um, yes, indeed. You know, you, you guys got to be strong on this YouTube application. Y'all, a lot of you guys are taking it a little bit too seriously. A little bit too seriously. 
Like, when it gets to the point where it's affecting you in your real life, you need to take a break from it. <laughs> I mean, I'm not, I ain't trying to laugh on that, but you need to take a break from it. Because it's bad enough. It's, you know, it's, it's bad enough we got people over here that got a little bit of sense, but they a little bit of sense, but they still come over here acting kind of like, um, like they don't have any common sense, and they just saying any old crazy things that come off the, on the top of their dome. But you know, we we can handle that. We can handle them. Even I want them. I, even 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 though I want them to take a break too, because I get tired of listening to them too. Because they just uh, they panel killers. They panel killers. Y'all know who they are in the big center. Panel killers. Like damn, why did you have? Why did you have, Why did you have to bring your ass up here? I guess you wanted to be seen again, huh? Mm-hmm. You want some more cash, up, son? Hmm. Want somebody to see your motherfucking name? Oh my goodness, I get so tired of that. I get so tired of that. Take a chill pill. Sit, sit back on the back and and relax. Hell, I just don't understand it sometimes. But I mean, I'm just listening to this this young lady talking. It just seems like, girl, you still you you concerned about what people are saying about you? The world is not going to stop talking about you. They're not. Okay? They're not. People are going to snicker, look, and call you in, in all sorts of things in their head. You may not even hear it. You may not even see it. But I'm telling you, I'm, I'm trying to tell you, it's, it's going gonna, it's gonna to happen. Hey, you think I don't get talked about still? I, I, get, I get talked about all the time. I don't give a damn. It is what it is. It is what it is. If you don't like it, shoot it. I don't, know, I don't give a damn. I don't give a damn. You know, but you know what? I'm still living for me. I'm still, I'm, I'm still enjoying. I'm, I'm still doing the things that I, I love and I, that I love doing and, and enjoy doing. You know, I don't have to be oh so self conscious or be worried about what the next person is going to say, because you know why? You're not in control of them. You're not even. You're not even. You're not even in even control of what they're going to even say to you. So why even have an ounce of careness in your blood? Why? I, I look. Say it like this. Although I do struggle with anger issues, I mean anger problems. And that's really a bit about, that's a little bit of my issue sometimes. You know, um, I don't let that get in the way <laughs> of things. I don't. I don't let my mood swings because I really have bad mood swings at times. I don't let that get in the way of you know, of getting the things that I know I, I have to get taken care of. I don't. You know why? Because at the end of the day, it doesn't define me, who I am. All the all of these opinions that the world is trying to throw at you and say, the, say what you are, it should never, ever define who you really are. Because you know why? You know the truth. You know the truth. As long as you know the truth, that's, it don't know any other opinion, any accusation, that shouldn't even matter. It shouldn't even matter because you know the truth about yourself. I wish I would let somebody break me down mentally, spiritually, emotionally, physically because of what they said to me. You know, I don't have some pretty fucked up things said to me in my life. But you know what? I still had to get up off my ass and still live life. And that's what a lot of you people out here that got to do. Worried about this colorism stuff. So what? You're brown. You're black. You're beige. You're white. It don't matter. Someone loves you, your family loves you, and I know God in heaven loves you, cause He created you before He before you even knew who you had before you before you even knew who the heck you was. He knew you a lot quicker than you knew yourself. You guys got to get off of that, or oh, worrying about what what the next person is saying. Let people talk. Let people talk. Was at the end of the day. I'm sure somebody's pointing out their flaws too as well. No one is exempt from being judged by the next human being on this earth. But you know who has the last say? It's God. That's why people's opinions are like assholes. We all have one. You know, what you eat don't make me shit, and what I eat don't make you shit. So it is what it is. Continue moving your shit on down a motherfucking road. I would be, I'd be kicking my own ass around here. <laughs> I wish I would. I wish I would have changed myself trying to fit in with the with the rest with, the, with everybody else in the in the crowd. Fuck that. Fuck that. I wish I would have joined the game so I could have some street cred. Fuck that. I wish I would have been stealing in stores trying to rob people. Fuck that. 
You know what? You know what I was doing. You know what I was doing. I was still focused on being the best person I know. I could, the best person that I know I could be for myself. Fuck trying to please somebody. Because you will never please somebody. I don't care if you love them to death. You will never please somebody like, like the way that you can please God. That's my main focus right there. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. We as people got to get up off this hole. Oh, they talking about me. Let the motherfucking talk. Let them talk. They don't have a heaven or hell to put you in. Let them talk. Just as long as they put your hands, just as long as they don't put their hands on you, okay, you're good. But let them people talk.